Hey everyone, um, this is a contest entry for Ellen Blair's contest, and I did mine based on Easter, and when you think of spring, I think of Easter, and when I think of Easter, I think of the candy. Now, when I get those candies, or I don't know if everyone gets these, but when everyone gets candy, you know how they have aluminum foil wrappers on them, and they're like bright pastels, and they're all shimmery, and just really bright? Well, that's what I base my eye look on, and mine is a pretty neutral look. Um, you can wear it anywhere. It's not like so bright; it's embarrassing to wear. It's actually a really flattering look. I forgot to mention in the video that you do line your lower lashes, so you just line it with the pink halfway in, and then line it with the gold the rest of the way in. But I think it's really pretty. I hope I get picked, and. I had a lot of fun making this video. It was so much fun coming up with the idea, and I just loved the idea of the candy wrappers. So I hope I get picked. Bye, everyone. Okay, so what you're going to need is a flat little brush. I got this one at Claire's, and it doesn't have to be the best brush, but just needs to be a flat brush, so you could use a MAC one if you wanted. And I'm going to be using pigments today. Because this look was inspired by Easter. Because when I think of spring, Easter just comes to mind. And when I think of Easter, you know those little candies or Reese's peanut butter cups you get? With those like really shiny pastel um, foil things? That's what um, inspires me. And so I'm trying to kind of create a look from that. And so I'm going to be using a NYX or a NYX Ultra Pearl Mania pigment and this one is just a soft baby pink and then the other one I'm going to be using is the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in kind of a coppery gold shimmery tone and these are so pretty I put some on a sticky note instead of having to dip my brush in there and I don't know how well you can see that but we're going to be using that so you want to prime your eye and I already did that step so we're going to take that flat brush <clears throat> and we're going to put it in the pink color. And tap off any excess. And we're going to place this in the inside to the halfway mark of our eye. Okay, so it will look kind of just like this, just to the halfway point of our eyelid. Then we're going to take the bronzy copper gold color, tap off any excess, and we're going to do the rest of the eye. And see how shimmery these are? They're very, very shimmery. And the reason I chose these pigments is because the shimmer reminds me of the foil look. And then we're going to take a blending brush and just blend the top line. And this is a Sonia Kashuk round crease brush, but I use it for blending because the bristles are a little stiffer and it works really good to blend. Okay, we just blended the top line. Then we're going to take the flat brush again, and we're going to get a little pink on some one side, and then a little of the gold color on the other. Tap off any excess, and we're going to blend in the center so there's not a harsh line. So it just fades together like that. Then we're going to take a an eyeshadow that kind of looks like the um, pigment, but 
It's an Ulta copper bronze eyeshadow, and it works really well. And we're going to just use a crease brush, and I got this one from Target. The bristles are really soft, so it's good for placing crease colors. And you're just going to get that in there. And place this just in your crease. Right above all those colors. And then you don't need a lot because it will show up really well against that because it's a little more matte than the pigments. Then we're just going to take the crease brush and blend those together. See how it's coming together? Then we're going to take a mascara. You can use whatever one you want. Um, I got this free tester one, so I thought I'd use it. And it was from Clinique, and it's the lash doubling one. And it's just in black. So I'm just going to put it on my top. And you can do lower lashes if you want. I'm not doing any eyeliner because this is already bright, bold enough as it is. And I don't think we need an eyeliner to bring it out more. Okay, and that's how it looks. And then we're going to take a matte highlight color real quick. And I'm using the Elizabeth Arden um, Eyeshadow Duo. It doesn't really have what it is. It just says Eyeshadow Duo. And we're just going to take a brush. You can use your crease brush or whatever brush you have. And get that milky color and place it just right under your eyebrow. And that will just lighten the top of your eyebrows up. Next, we have to do cheeks. So I'm going to be using a blush. And this is a bright pink blush. So this kind of reminds me of the roses. And I'm trying not to tip it because it is broken. And it's from Ulta. And I'm just using um, a blush brush from Claire's. Smile to find your apples. And this is really, really shimmery, just like the foil wrappers. So you barely need any, and it will give you that nice glow pink shimmer. Blend it back. And then last is lips, and I'm going to be using a Clinique Long Last Glossware SPF 15. And it doesn't tell a color, but this is what it looks like. It's a nice soft pink, and it won't, it kind of reminds me of like the orchids or daffodils like if you had a daffodil that's a soft pink like the light pink flowers and it is SPF so it reminds you of the sun because springtime is when the sun comes out and it's nice and warm okay and that's Alright, thanks for watching.